hello everyone today i will start the new concept that is laplace transform of periodic functions let us see what is the definition of periodic function first definition is a function f of t this f of t is said to be a periodic function of a period t here we are taking the period as a t which is greater than 0 means t must be greater than 0 if the function f of t plus n t is equal to f of t where n running from 1 2 3 and so on means this is a function f of t is periodic function only when the when only when it is a f of t plus n t is equal to f of t this condition should be satisfied to get this f of t will be periodic function see here some examples are there sin t cos t are periodic functions why see here of a period 2 pi for the period 2 pi means here t value is 2 pi means for the value of t which is equal to 2 pi sin t and cos t are the periodic functions see here our condition is f of t plus sin t is equal to f of t f of t here it is sin t and cos t then it will be f of t plus 2 pi 2 n pi n as it is t value is 2 pi here therefore it is sin t plus 2 n pi is equal to sin t because uh, we already know the results of trigonometric functions that is uh, <coughs> sin t sin theta plus 2 pi is sin sin theta then cos theta plus 2 pi is also cos theta uh, same here sin t plus 2 n pi is sin t and cos of t plus 2 n pi is also cos t therefore for the period t is equal to 2 pi sin t and cos t are the periodic functions next we have a theorem here if f of t is a periodic function of a period t then laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus st into integration from 0 to capital t e raised to minus st f of t dt this is a very useful result for solving the examples and most important theorem it is <coughs> proof we have by the definition of laplace transform we already know what is the definition of laplace transform that is laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt now i am changing the variable here integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus in place of t i am taking small u then it is f of u into du i am changing here variables means this is also du which is laplace transform of f of t <coughs> now i am changing this interval that is 0 to infinity as sub intervals next is here we are having limits from 0 to infinity means here i am having the interval 0 to infinity i am changing that interval into sub intervals first is integration u is running from 0 to capital T I am taking here our period that is T e raised to minus s u f of u du plus integration from u is equal to T to 2T e raised to minus s into u f of u du plus plus and so on to plus nth term is integration from u is equal to n into t here n value is 0 here n value is 1 and nth term is u is u is running from n into t to n plus 1 into t see here our t value is 0 means it is n plus 1 into t means n is 0 1 into t is t like that here n value is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into 2 like that nth term is your integration from u is running from n into t to n plus 1 into t e raised to minus st f of u 
du plus so on to plus up to it is the upper limit is infinity now this can be written as uh, laplace transform of f of t is equal to this means addition of all these terms gives summation of where n is running from 0 to infinity limit integration from sorry u is equal to n t from n plus 1 into t e raised to minus s t sorry sorry it is minus s u here also minus s into u f of u d u this is the summation of all these terms where wherever n is running from 0 to here n value is 0 our last term will be n is infinity this is name as equation 1 now put u is equal to t plus nt then differentiate this one with respect to with respect to u and with respect to t we get du is equal to dt plus 0 means it is simply du is equal to dt now if u is equal to nt here if the limit here for our lower limit is nt and upper limit is n plus 1 into t apply here first i am taking lower limit when u is equal to n into t then we get t plus nt is equal to n into t means here u is equal to nt we are taking u is equal to t plus nt therefore it is t plus nt is equal to n into t when we take this terms this side nt minus nt will be uh, cancelled means it is 0 t is equal to 0 means our upper lower limit changes to t is equal to 0 now if u is equal to take upper limit n plus 1 into t then t plus nt t plus nt is equal to n into t multiply this t to this one we get n into t plus capital t when we take this uh, n into t this side nt nt get cancelled remaining is t is equal to t therefore uh, upper limit changes to t is equal to t uh, they, on seeing this we conclude that lower limit is 0 upper limit is t means here t is running from 0 to capital t here our variable u changes to small t therefore uh, from the definition only we know that f of t is equal to t plus n into t therefore f of u is also equal to t plus n into capital T by the periodic property uh, using this result in equation 1 means this is equation 1 use the result means this results in equation 1 we get L of f of t is equal to summation n running from 0 to infinity limits is t is equal to 0 to t is equal to capital t e raised to minus s our uh, u value is t plus n into t because we are taking u as t plus n into t then only our limits is changes uh, to u is equal to n t to n plus 1 into t therefore here you in place of u you can uh, write minus s of t plus n into t limits from 0 to infinity f of t dt because du, du is dt next is and f of t is equal to f of u see here f of t is equal to f of u and uh, du is equal to dt and t limits are t is equal to 0 to t use all these results in equation 1 we get this equation after that laplace transform of f of t is equal to limits uh, summation n running from 0 to in integration from uh, t is equal to 0 to t 
e raised to minus st plus sorry it is minus s n t f of t dt which is equal to summation n running from 0 to infinity integration 0 to t e raised to this can be written as e raised to minus s t into, into e raised to minus s n t f of t dt now see here this is constant for the given integral we have limits from n equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus s n t integration from t is equal to 0 to t e raised to minus s t f of t dt name this is equation to this is the laplace transform of f of t next is but summation n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s n t can be written as summation n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s into t raised to n where n is running from 1 2 3 and so on so we are applying the values of n we get here yeah, it, it will be 0 means 0 into something is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 therefore it is 1 plus e raised to minus st because it is 1 next is e raised to minus st whole square plus i so on this is up to infinity observe this equation this gives the geometric series of the form 1 plus r plus r square plus and so on whose sum is sum to infinity is 1 divided by 1 plus r and our r value is e raised to minus st here see here putting just to understand i will put r is equal to e raised to minus st this series will be the series involved means this series is a geometric series to write in an easy way just I will write r is equal to e raised to minus st is a geometric series of the form 1 plus r plus r square plus n so on whose sum to infinity because our n value is running through 0 to infinity i am taking 0 here first here up to infinity here we want uh, sum of these values up to infinity and this series gives the geometric series therefore whose sum is e whose sum to infinity infinity is known as known to be 1 divided by 1 minus r 1 divided by 1 minus r where r is less than 1 see here we have laplace transform of f of t is summation n running from 1 uh, n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus n into t integration from n, uh, integration limits from 0 to capital t e raised to minus st f of t dt here we can solve this integration now we have to find the value of summation n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s into t value for that 
um, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus n into t can be written as summation n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st raised to n where n is n values varies from 1 0 1 2 3 and so on just i am taking the values of n here 1 plus e raised to minus st plus e raised to minus st whole square plus e raised to minus st cube plus and so on up to infinity uh, to find this result uh, just observe the series is geometric series and we want here uh, some of these values up to infinity we know that just take here r is equal to e raised to minus st just for the convenience um, then this uh, series will be 1 plus r plus r square plus and so on then sum of these terms up to infinity is 1 divided by 1 minus r our r, va r value is e raised to minus st where r is less than 1 on the on seeing this term we conclude that summation therefore summation n running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus n yes s n t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus r is e raised to minus s t e raised to minus s into t name this is equation 3 now substitute the value of summation n is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus n into t as 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus st in equation 2 we get laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus s into t integration from t running from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s into t f of t dt which is our required result here we have to prove this therefore hence the proof this is our required result to prove here that is Laplace transform of f of t means f of t is periodic only when L of f of t is equal to 1 divided by e raised to f of t is periodic of uh, at a period t only when Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus s into t integration from 0 to capital T e raised to minus st f of t dt. Next let us see an, an example first one if f of t is equal to t square where t lies between 0 and 2 and f of t plus 2 is equal to f of t for t greater than 2 find l of f of t solution f of t is a periodic function of period 2 means our t value is 2 here therefore capital T is equal to Two. We have we have a result for the periodic function capital L of f of t is equal to one divided by one minus e raised to minus s t integration from zero to t e raised to minus s t f of t dt. Now replace the values t value as two. L of f of t is equal to one divided by one minus e raised to minus s into two integration from 0 to 2 e raised to minus st f of t value is t square therefore it is t square into dt now i am just rearranging the term laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 2s integration from 0 to 2 t square into e raised to minus st into dt now to solve this integral we have to use the integration by parts rule means uh, we have to apply the Bernoulli's rule here uh, use t square as a differentiating part and uh, e raised to minus t as integrating part that's why I am rearranging here to take first value as a differentiating and second value as the integrating part applying Bernoulli's rule of integration by parts 
we get Laplace transform of L of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e s to minus 2s as it is now integrating keep differentiating part as it is I am taking t square as it is uh, integrating e raised to minus st value we get e raised to minus st divided by minus s limits from 0 to 2 minus next part we have to differentiate this one this is 2t into again we have to integrate this e raised to minus st divided by e raised to minus s into e raised to minus s limits from 0 to 2 plus third term I will write here next we have to differentiate this differentiation of 2t is just 2 e raised to minus st divided by minus s into minus s is s square into then uh, integration of e raised to minus s is minus s limits from 0 to 2 when we write the next term differentiation of 2 is 0 something into 0 is 0 therefore I will stop here only next we get Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 2s 1 divided by minus minus 1 divided by s is constant take outside apply limits first upper limit for uh, t value is 2 2 square means it is 4 e raised to minus 2 into s because t value is 2 minus lower limit is 0 0 into something is 0 minus next is 2 divided by s square is constant means when s is into minus s is s square this is 2 is constant 2 divided by s square it is next 2 e raised to minus 2s minus 0 because t it is 2 2 e raised to minus 2s uh, some lower limit is 0 0 into something is 0 it will be 0 next term is here it is a plus but, but we have 1 divided by uh, here we have third term as 2 divided by s square into minus s is minus s cube plus into minus will be minus uh, remaining is this is uh, 2 I am taking outside it is simply minus 2 yes minus 1 because e raised to 0 value is 1 therefore e raised to minus 2s yes, minus 1 this is the values next we have 1 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 2s just write the term minus 4 e raised to minus 2 into s divided by s it will be minus 2 to the 4 4 e raised to minus 2 s divided by s square next it will be minus 2 e raised to minus 2 s divided by s cube minus into minus plus I will write last term here 2 divided by s cube now I will take 2 divided by s cube is common from all these terms we get 2 divided by s cube 1 minus e raised to minus 2s here we have s square so we have to take here I am taking 2 outside it will be 2 here I am having s um, but I am taking s cube as common it will be s square e raised to minus 2s then it is minus 2 here it is s square I am taking s cube common it will be s e raised to minus 2s 
simply here it is minus e raised to 2s because 2 by s cube is taking common here also 2 by s cube is taking common remaining is only 1 next the required result is 2 divided by s cube into 1 minus e raised to 2s as it is here all, all these terms in all these terms uh, one is positive i am writing first here after that this all these three terms are negative i am taking negative as a common and in these three terms we have e raised to minus 2s as common take outside in these three terms i am taking in these three terms i am taking minus e raised to minus 2s as a common the remaining is only here it is 2s square and here it is a plus 2s and this is plus 1 this is the required result here in the last uh, uh, step i am taking first i am taking uh, positive term as a first next i am taking in a uh, in these three terms, I am taking minus e raised to minus 2s as a common and remaining is uh, 2s square and here plus because I am taking minus as a common, uh, here it is 2s and here it is plus only 1. This is the required result. So the required Laplace transform for the given function. f of t is equal to t square. Next class we will solve some more examples on this.